I'm Meech from On The Radar. Many know me on YouTube for my black seed oil investigations. Some have even called me the black seed oil police. This is Rashid. He's the owner of Bionatal. Many people consider his black seed oil to be the strongest on the market. We've decided to come together and do what has never been done before. Combine our resources by gathering black seeds from all seven countries who grow black seeds for oil extraction. We will have them lab tested to find out once and for all which region produces the best black seed oil. Follow our journey through every episode to see all of the crucial new information we discover along the way. Hey guys, this is Rashid by Little Company and today this is another video of our investigations where we try to find out which black seeds and which black seed oil is the strongest and most potent on earth. We're gonna do something nobody did before. And guys, today you see uh, um, there are already all those main uh, seven region seeds on my table. Uh, all seven regions. I will remind you guys if you if you uh, watch me first and uh, uh, that uh, in fact when you buy black seed oil uh, in, in United States, in United Kingdom, in Europe, Australia, whatever, uh, and you see that the pro producer can be from anywhere, right? It can be Moroccan producer, it can be Saudi Arabia, Arab Emirates, uh, any European country, whatever. So. Whatever oil you buy, whatever oil you buy, in fact, the oil inside your bottle will be extracted from one of those, those uh, seven seeds or the mixing of those seeds. Now, why? Because all those countries produce 95% of uh, seeds on earth. The all other countries which are officially um, claimed as a country who grow uh, black seeds. In fact, they have those seeds, but like the quantity is super small, not for oil extraction, it's just for local market. They use it as a spices on Middle East, but it's never going to the oil extraction. Those on my table, seven are oil extraction seeds. And whatever you do, guys, you will never find anything else than that. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, I'm just thinking what to start from because we have many things to discuss but uh, today let's talk only about the color if it's possible to find uh, um, uh, to find uh, like uh, uh, the quality to find out about the quality of the seeds uh, due to the color of the seeds well I just put right now according to the color from the darkest going straight to the lowest uh, and it has n no sense, any sense, according to my table of prediction of Time Quinon, right? Which is based on my many, many, many years experience. Uh, I'm, I'm, this table I created by uh, knowing, uh, by the information of, of people who I know many years and who extract oil from all those seeds and they tested for Time Quinon. So we know uh, differences, little bit differences uh, of uh, the, the different regions. Uh, time of Quinon. So this is approximately the uh, table right now. Um, and this table is definitely not the same like you see uh, starting from here. India, right? Uh, and uh, look to the table where is India uh, and Ethiopia somewhere in the middle instead of to be the first, right? So definitely by color we cannot find the time of Quinon. But guys, I find something very, very interesting even for myself before I never paid attention, but it's true it looks like that and it has sense it makes sense look guys and i will try to put uh, some pictures for you here i don't know the camera will uh, provide this quality of picture or not but you have to see it look the regions where i know from my partners from those countries that the uh, the time of quinone is low uh the seeds are those uh india uh, Syria and uh, Pakistan guys those three completely different than those I don't know in this picture you can see or not those seeds looks like toys they are they are, they are smaller 
they, they and why I say is that they look like toys they glossy they shiny and uh, they don't have this natural powder on top of it uh, this is why you know it's like looks like and those seats uh, those seats here for they have like this natural powder which looks like you know the cars they have matte color P people paint cars into the matte color so those three are glossy and those four are uh, has like matte color you can see those uh, uh, Turkish best Turkish uh, Ethiopian Bangladeshi and uh, Egyptian here right so they, they they has like this kind of matte color so what is was it what is it telling me that uh, if we look to the map you see uh, India Pakistan and Syria right this part where those countries uh, and those countries has those uh, uh, glossy uh, whatever shiny uh, seats which looks like toys okay and we know that time of quinone is low it's it's a fact so it means that the the if if the seat has this uh, natural powder on top uh, which makes this uh, you know uh, matte color right then those seats are definitely uh, supposed to be stronger so this is the only how you can find out strong seats or no strong seats. The only what I cannot understand it's about Bangladesh, but it also has difference. Um, Bangladeshian has a matte, okay, M matte color on top, but uh, a lot of seats you can see a picture. A lot of seats are really gray, like super gray color. A lot of seats with a gray, gray, gray color. Uh, Bangladesh is close to India, so I was thinking that it's supposed to be the same glossy, uh, shiny as those seats, right? Uh, as Indian, but uh, in fact, they have uh, those seats has a mat, uh, and uh, it's a lot of like um, very, very, very light, uh, very light. Uh, uh, seeds. So this is the only how you can you understand that if you have the seeds which which colored matte, which is not glossy, not shiny, and it has many 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 gray uh, seeds inside, then it's probably Bangladeshian. Uh, time of Quinone right now it's a big secret in all the world. I uh, we we're gonna be the first who find out. Uh, and here the situation, guys, Turkey. Uh, uh, Turkey, right? Ethiopia, Egypt, I guess like that because you can see the, the names, I don't know, I just put it with the color. So those, in fact, I, I put it like, you know, like approximately, like super, super, super approximately because in fact, in fact, I really cannot see any difference of those three seats if you show me I don't see any difference and and I will never tell you if I don't have two of those I will never tell you which one if, if you give me in my hand I will not, not tell you which one but it's also interesting because uh, Turkey Egypt Ethiopia going in the same uh, vertical line on the map that's already another thing which is makes sense right those close to each other go by uh, horizontal line a little bit uh, in the in the east from turkey uh, egypt and uh, ethiopia and those three countries by vertical uh, on the map yeah so it's very interesting the only what i can say from these pictures and guys if you have glossy if you want to have better uh, seats if you have glossy seats you you see it then the, you definitely understand that those are not the strongest for sure and um, uh, I will tell you one little bit uh, open a secret for the future video and the taste will show almost the same picture and in the same video I will tell you uh, the taste of those uh, seeds so we're, we're gonna classify them by taste and we will see the difference uh, will the picture change according to this from from the darkest to the to the uh, you know uh, lower color uh, brighter color or will not change or if change then how uh, how much it's gonna change but definitely for now guys this is it glossy shiny beautiful looks like toys wonderful seats in fact are 
low, uh, low thymoquinone, contain low thymoquinone in them. Uh, so look for the seeds which, which has this uh, uh, matte, matte color, uh, which is a natural powder. You can find it very easy. You take those seeds, uh, you, you, you try to like um, uh, squeeze it a little bit and you will find your, your uh, hand already black. It's a natural powder on, on, on top of the, the, the surface of the, of the seeds. So this is it for today. It's very interesting, right? Uh, and I will see you in the next video, guys.